A healthcare organisation is considering plans to allow patients with learning difficulties or severe mental illness to be given priority on hospital waiting lists. The death rate for people with learning disabilities has more than doubled nationally in recent months. The Bristol, North Somerset and South Gloucestershire Clinical Commissioning Group has said they understand prioritising one group would be at the expense of another, but that radical change is needed to tackle health inequality. Even before Covid struck, there were plenty of population groups that were relatively disadvantaged in the way that they could access healthcare and in the outcomes that they were going to get from their, their treatment. And um, then COVID came along and actually made all of that much worse. Um, so we know that uh, as a consequence of COVID, there are certain population groups that um, have suffered disproportionately compared with other population groups. The elderly, uh, particularly people from uh, very deprived neighbourhoods, people from black and minority ethnic groups, but also people with uh, severe mental health problems and with learning difficulties. We've been trying to do something about health inequalities for years. It's always proved very hard. But COVID has really shone a very, very strong um, magnifying glass on this problem. So we're very determined to do something about it now. And that means finding those groups that are perhaps um, worst disadvantaged, most at risk of having suffered the most from uh, COVID and making sure that they get the care that they need. Partly because people who are very ill um, or suffer from other challenges um, find it hard to press their case sometimes and find it hard to access services in other ways. There is plenty of national data and indeed a recently very strong national guidance that says that we need to do everything that we can, everything within our power to reduce these health inequalities. And we need to look at every opportunity to do that and that's what we're doing now.